Audio check. Click check. More check. Another check.
hello. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well today. I am doing a lot better today. For some chatters, yesterday it was a bad day, but today is a lot better. So I'm in a lot. I'm in a more positive mood today. So today is gonna be the best day. But thank you for everybody who was was in the just chatting, starting soon. We got a lot of like chatters in the waiting screen, which is crazy to me. But hi, we have whoops or us. First time chatter. Welcome to stream. I know it's your first stream, but thank you for showing up today, man. Um, if you have any preferred nicknames as well, because I know you give me your pronouns, shoutouts to that. Actually listening to the rules of the chat room. <laughs> but welcome to stream. We're going to have a fun time today. So, yeah, I'm doing a lot better today. I did not get a lot of sleep, though, because I was talking to a friend again, Sedge. Like, I want to talk to them, but it's a problem because I talk to them every night from, like, 10 p.m. to like 1 p.m. and it's bad. I don't get all the sleep, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so <clears throat> we can go ahead and get our sub goal up for the day chatters. Gentle reminder: our current sub goal is going to be 50, and if we hit 50 subs, then we're going to do a no cursing Mario Kart stream. So that is our sub goal. I was in the emergency room, probably like shitting yourself, right? <laughs> Bye, welcome to stream, Deacon. Hope you're doing better today. <laughs> but thank you. Yeah, I did these on Monday. I have to show them up. Like, they haven't started shipping at all yet, which is surprising. Um, not sponsored, hashtag not an ad. But this is Hollow Taco. Their mats are surprisingly really nice. So, I want to buy more, but each ball is like 10 bucks. And it's, okay, it is worth the 10 bucks, but still, it's a lot to cough up at once. Because I checked their website literally two days ago to, like, see if they have any new colors. But they don't have the color I'm looking for. Because, like, what I kind of want, I want, like, a pearl white. I think that'd be really cute. But they only have, like, a glitter white. And it's like, I don't want glitter. <clears throat> yeah, I think last night I stayed up after the phone call, after we ended the call. I, um, I was watching a, a VOD from, I think, Hassan's stream. And I fell asleep watching it. And I woke up at, like, four and I saw my phone was dead. And I was like, Fuck! Because I didn't have to wake up early to water the garden today. Let's go. <clears throat> oh shit, you actually went to the ER? Fuck. I'm sorry, Deacon. Can we get some hearts and chat for Deacon? I hope you're doing okay, hon. That That is not cool. But I'm glad you're okay, you know? Could have been worse, I guess. <clears throat> oh, You take it easy today, okay? Okay, so we can go ahead and get started with today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm fine, okay. At least you were able to go to the doctor. A lot of people who get hurt, like they refuse to go to the ER, they refuse to go to the doctor, and you're just hurting yourself more, you know? I'm laughing at the way I slept. Okay, at least you're positive about it. Okay, yeah. Well, that that's good. Oh, wait, I forgot. I don't know why. Oh, sorry. I have that overlay on for the emote only mode, Sedge. I forgot to turn it off. There you go. Oh, you slipped on the diving board? Damn. I don't understand, like... I can't swim. So I, I just don't go in the pool at all. Like, I did my little foot season. I would never dive into a pool. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming Lorenzo Chatters. You know what time it is. I just put the overlay away, but you know what? Um, I currently don't play viewers. Oh, play along with me offline? Sure. I don't do co-op on stream, though. Good Chatters? Lorenzo redeemed emote only mode for five minutes. So you know what that means, Chatters? Get to shut the fuck up for five minutes. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming, Lorenzo. Lamau. Okay, so last week... <laughs> Where did we end off at? I think... Oh, wait. Did I get all the shines here? Yeah, I did. Okay, we got all the shines there, all the shines there. Yeah, chatters, get mad. Get mad, feel sad, go home, cry dad. <clears throat> okay, so I think we got... We finished the last two sections last week. Because they have the gold flags up top. So I think we can go on to the next section. 
Because last time we played this was, what, two weeks ago? Oh. Yeah, I don't think I started this section at all yet. Also, before stream... Oh, no, it's ice, it's slippery, it's slippery. Before stream... Oh, hi, Issa! Welcome to stream, hope we're doing well today on... Um, what was I gonna say? Wait. Deacon can type in emote only mode? Wait, I think it's BIP. Fuck. I was gonna say, oh yeah, before stream, I did a little bit of star grinding in the regular Super Mario 3D version. So, it's still gonna be a long-ass time before I get all the stars, stamps, and flagpoles. Like, I'm working on it, though. Okay, no real item, Sedge. You guys jelly? Well, you're gonna lose your VIP badge at the next Mario Kart tournament, let's be honest, because I know some chatters are grinding and practicing, so... Okay, well, it appears that I need the propeller over here. <clears throat> I gotta go back and get it now. I'm so used to playing as Rosalina in the regular um, SM3D world, but I keep pressing like, what? Wh fuck! Why to do the trick jump? But I know it's not gonna help me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any section where he had to blast through for the Bowser mode. Oh, it's just coins? Damn. Oh, I missed! I'm gonna die? Come on, go! Hey Caspian, can you stop one man spamming? Okay, let's try again. The okay, only thing over there was coins, so not worth. Oh, there's ledge over here. <laughs> and just slide back down. Okay, Jatter's emote only mode is no longer enabled. Now you guys can start talking again. Once again, thank you for Lorenz to Lorenzo for redeeming. <laughs> no, that's okay, just- I like a little bit of spam, but not too much. Like, one man spam is the concept of when one person, like, basically floods the chat room, and it's not fun for everybody else to read. Fuck! How am I doing? I'm, I'm doing pretty good today. Didn't get a lot of sleep, but you know, we're here. 
I had leftover Taco Bell for breakfast. That was pretty good. Okay, honestly, I used to think my favorite breakfast menu item from Taco Bell was the breakfast Contrap, but their breakfast quesadillas fucked that amazing, dude. The next emote only mode you'll keep silent? Okay, I appreciate that, Deacon. Hi, Miss Mocha. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. Yeah, okay, no problem. But thank you for coming into stream. I was gonna say EU, but Sydney is Australia. Oopsie. <laughs> We got a lot of EU frogs in the chat room too, so I know not necessarily people can catch every stream, and that's not a problem. But as long as people enjoy the clips and stuff, I'll keep making them. Let's try going here. <laughs> You've never been to talk about, honey? No! Am I at the bottom? I'm at the fucking bottom! Dude, that's so rude. I got all the way up there. That's genuinely so rude. Okay, let's go again. Can I not jump back in the pike? Fuck. That actually makes a lot of sense. Well, my brain wasn't big enough to figure that out, I guess. Dude, imagine if I fell from here. <laughs> Any new chatters, new viewers? I am fucking really bad at games. So don't, don't expect pro gameplay unless I'm playing Mario Kart, because I'm fucking so good at Mario Kart. On purpose? No, I, I promise you it was not on purpose. Why would I lose on purpose? The only time I throw for content is if chat gets something, okay? Otherwise, I don't like looking bad. Wait, is the pipe still there? I don't think the pipe is still there. Oh, the pipe is still there! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No way, no fucking way. I hate this game. <clears throat> yeah, I think out of all the Mario games, I think the SM3D World music soundtrack has to be my favorite. Like, I think it's, it's better than the Odyssey soundtrack. Okay, here we are. We're not gonna mess up this time. Yeah, I saw the clips you made, Mac. I appreciate that. I was gonna say, chatters need to be clipping the stream more. But honestly, Mac clipping the VOD when they watched it offline? Kind of crazy. That's some true dedication right there, chatters. <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, I got the Mario All-Stars pack. So I do have Galaxy, so we'll be playing that sometime soon. I think after 3D World, Bowser's Fury, we're going to do um, Mario Wii Deluxe. And then we'll do Mario Galaxy. Because I kind of want to play the games in backwards order. I would clip on my computer, would explode. You gotta, like, make, make sure your guys' computers is updated and, like, double-check your processor, like, your fan settings. Because once I changed my fan settings, it drastically improved my performance. I do have Mario Tennis. Maybe we can make that a sub-goal stream.
I think, um, Mocha, I think Bowser spawns every 10 minutes. And honestly, he doesn't scare me anymore. Like, I know the first time, like, the cutscene happened, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Fuck. But after I got used to it, it's, it's like nothing. I'm pressing the wrong button? No way, no fucking way. Oh, secret? <laughs> no! You were clipping on mobile? Dude, I can never get clipping on mobile to work. For anytime I try- Granted, I do have a Samsung. Anytime I open like the clip maker on mobile, it fucking crashes. And it pisses me off. So I, whenever I watch a stream, I usually um watch on desktop and then I usually clip stuff. You guys don't have Wi-Fi? Damn. I can't imagine. It, no, legitimately, I can't imagine my life without internet. There's no more propellers. Because I feel like so much of my life is spent online for, like, school, my social life, and, like, I guess streaming and stuff. Like, if I didn't have the internet, what would I, what would I be? Okay, I think I need to go back down to get a fucking propeller. Oh, wait, what? Oh, if you don't know how to click the stream, I'll link you to the Twitch help article. <laughs> there you go, Raven. Okay, well, there's no more propellers down here, so I guess I have to get the propellers that are in that upper section. Wait, but I, I need I need the propeller to, like, get up there. So what the fuck? Like, what, what am I supposed to do? No, I because, like, I don't think I can make that jump. No, I, I literally can't make that jump. Like, wh what am I supposed to do? Like, there's no more propellers. I I've fucked up too many times, I guess. Is there any way for me to, like, reset? Oh, you need- yeah. I understand what you're saying, Raven. Like, I know there's been plenty of times in which when I was younger, and, like, even now, too, like, we'd have to, like, choose which bills to pay first. Like, our phone bill is tied with our internet bill, so usually the internet is always paid for. But there's been times where, like, we were late on, like, the energy or the water bill. And there's been times where, like, the water had to be shut off. So, I totally understand that. Like, it sucks that a lot of things that should be, like, a human right in terms of, like, access to shelter water internet access as well is not given to the general public and it really should be <clears throat> like i think the pandemic kind of opened people's eyes in the sense of it kind of showed like what privileges you do have in the sense of having access to certain resources like how a lot of students had to fully transition to like online learning and like some kids they don't have a computer they don't have access to the internet at home so Hi, Bobby. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, I saw the news about Boris Johnson. I don't know anything about foreign politics, but I'm going to be watching Hassan's stream later. <laughs> okay, I, I literally- guys, I literally don't know what to do. Can I- okay, I'm going to try exit to title screen and see if they respawn, because I, I can't fucking find any more propellers. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Deacon. I really do. I think it's important to... Like, acknowledge the negatives, but also try and be as positive and perspective as you can. Because it's very easy to spiral and be, like, set in your ways and spiral in that negative mentality. <laughs> Psych, I'm kidding. Damn. Moderators, unVIP Deacon. Yeah, I was reading this article that was saying a lot of people experience brain fog after pandemic, even if they didn't get COVID. Fuck! Because just the constant stress will lead to, like, greater senses of depression and fatigue. And I was like, damn. Because luckily- Okay, chatters, before we talk about this further, please make sure you are vaccinated. Please make sure you are fully boosted. 
I know I myself, I'm waiting to get my second booster, which I'll probably be eligible in the fall when they approve it for second booster shots. But Chatters, make sure you're vaccinated, make sure you are boosted. Oh my fucking god. Because getting vaccinated protects not yourself, but also your community. Um. Anyway. <laughs> I hate this game. Oh, you got your booster? Great job, Caspian. Proud of you. Yeah, I think he's told us that before, Deacon. Oh, wait, I need a propeller. Oh, the propellers are down here, yeah? Go round and round in circles. Yeah, if you're unsure about getting your vaccine, please consult your doctor. You know what? When I got my booster shot, that was when, like, kids first became eligible in the States. And, like, they were giving kids little stickers and suckers. So I'm getting my shot, Gret Chat Chatters, I'm 23. <laughs> I'd be like, I was so tempted to, like, ask for a sticker. Because, like, I thought it'd be cute. Oh! Okay, my problem is, is I'm releasing B before I want to drop down. That is my problem. Okay, third time is the charm. I'm gonna do it this time. There we go. <laughs> you only live once and I- <laughs> And like, I see ask for the sticker. I was going to, but then- I felt discouraged because, like, all the kids getting their shots, they're, like, fucking screaming. And, like, I don't want to stress the workers out. Because, like, all of the workers who were, like, working with the kids, they were so nice. They were genuinely, like, really supportive. And, like, super nice to the kids. And I was like, damn. These doctors are, like, trained well. Because I know when I was little, when I was getting my shots as a elementary school kid, my doctors were not nice. They were fucking pissy as all hell. Oh yeah, like the little cute band-aids. Dude, I remember I went and got my shot when I was little and I got a little Hello Kitty one and I think I got a Spongebob one one time. It's like the little things that'll get like the kids excited about it, you know? Because I remember, um, I'm not necessarily scared of shots as much as I was. Um. But I remember when I was little, like, I'd always get my shots with my sister, and she'd be, like, freaking out and crying. And because she's crying, like, I start crying. It was not a good time. Okay, we're back here again. Fucking god, I hate this game. Okay, let's go again. Okay, so when you hold B, you fall slowly, but if you let go of B, you drop down. That's what I figured out. <laughs> People underestimate the power of stickers, and I go crazy for those things. See, when I was little, I don't think I had a sticker phase. I wish I had a sticker phase, because sticker collecting is a lot cheaper than collecting little toys and figurines. But see, I see all these, like, cute little Etsy shops online, and they got all these cute-ass cute, cute -ass stickers. And I'm like, I want to start collecting stickers, but we talked about it before, like, once they start collecting something, I'm gonna become obsessed. So I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Deacon radiates bully energy all the time. Oh, can I do it? 
I'm so close. <gasps> Finally. No, wait. Okay, for this part, I have to drop down and propel her up. You see, I, I got... No, I think a little bit of trolling is fine with your siblings, as long as you don't, like, fucking smack the shit out of them. <laughs> I want to collect Smishmills, but $20 isn't enough mood. Literally mood. Oh, should I get the coin? Mm. Oh my god. What the fuck? You got this. Thank you, Caspian. It's. <laughs> Are you talking about the game that this part is easy? This is like the most intimidating part I've seen. Like genuinely, how how am I supposed to do this? I'm I can't even go item. Okay, wait. So I think I can jump up here. Jump blast. Oh, what what? I'm mean to my siblings, not anybody else. That's how my sister is. She's fucking mean as shit to me. I collect moms. Mac out here, fucking home record. <laughs> okay, so I think if I wait. Okay, I jump and then I hold B. See, look, there's like a, there's like a. I get stuck behind that ledge. I was close! I was close! Wait! Oh no. Wait, is this what I'm supposed to do? I fell down. I figured it out? Get rid of Bowser! I didn't realize I could fall onto like the lower propellers. <clears throat> but finally, that guys, that took 20 minutes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I've had enough of your mom jokes of these streams. Oh, get ready for more, baby. That took 30 minutes. Okay, uptime is 30 minutes, but we've only been playing for like 20. Wait, I thought I made Bowser despawn. Why is he here? It did take a while? Yeah, it did. It took way too long. Okay, it's probably gonna make me go all the way back down to make the next si shine spawn, so... L let's just go back down and see what happens. L like, literally, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, wait, I, I see something down here. I'm crying. <laughs> That's what I want chatters to feel. I want chatters to fucking cry when they come into stream. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, there's propellers here. Thank God. Saved. Oh, there's something here. Just fucking leave these little coins. Why is there so much fire? <laughs> I mean. Bowser's just popping off. <clears throat> okay, I think what I need to do, I need to fall down. I kind of want to see if I can get the coin, though. That was over here. Oh! Okay, got him. Oh, I see a coin down here.
first try. Bowser's annoying to be H. Honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I saw something over here. Oh, it's just the side path. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. I think instead of trigger warning, you should say PSA. I mean, I noticed that I get- I'm personally wearing Raycons right now. Like, I, I personally don't like earbuds. I used to prefer the ones that go over my, like, ears. But I no I do notice, ever since I've started using earbuds, I'll have, like, bumps and pimples more so in my ear. So I always try to, like, clean and, like, sanitize my earbuds, like, every other day. What codes did I use for my Raycons? Um, I didn't use any code. Wait, why am I going this way? I didn't use any code because I think I think I bought them during Christmas, so they had like a 50% off sale. I didn't use any cringe YouTubers code, so Who's my favorite Koopaling? I have to like look through them all, but I like the one wait. I think, in terms of, like, my favorite boss to fight, I like the the turtle that spins. I like that one a lot. Did it make it better once I started sanitizing? Yeah, I've noticed, like, I get less, like, pimples in my ear, but they're still there. Unfortunately. Oh, big button. Please don't tell me it's timed. Of course it's timed. First try, last second, baby! Dr. Pimple Popper is the best thing to watch. My sister? Okay, I'm self-reporting on her. She loves fucking popping my pimples, and I do not get it. I told her she should be one of those skin doctors, or like the stands in the mall that do like facials. I told her she should do that. But she's like, no, it's only fun if I do it for you. And I'm like, okay, dude. Yeah, I agree. I hate the time challenges. <laughs> 20 more minutes? Shh. Shh. You can't be debating me too soon, Mac. Okay, so I got the second shine. What I do like... I kind of like the mechanic how... Different things will spawn the more shines you get. Because the more you play a level, the better you get at it. That's what I kind of like about the mechanic for this version of the game. <laughs> Should we make a 20 minute debate conversation? I mean, sure. <laughs> we can try. Oh, okay, so there's a blast box here, noted. Oh, yo, peace I too, yo! <laughs> I 
Damn, that sucks, Mac. I like the thing I don't miss about work is fucking staying late. Like, because I work management for, um, I would have to say two thirds of the time that I was working. Wait. The panels are gone. Why is Bowser Jr. with me? I think the lore is, is like one day Bowser popped off and then he got mad at Baby Bowser and then Baby Bowser was like, hey, my dad's like really angry and like beating me up and shit. He's like, can you help me? And I was like, okay, dude. Wait, the pipe is gone too. Huh? Uh oh. I, I think I'm legitimately stuck. I'm confused. Okay, no problem. We'll see you later, Caspian. <laughs> okay, I don't... I don't know what to do. You can like click. Okay, I'm gonna try respawn and see where it puts me. What's gone, Deacon? Oh, just let it go. Oh, true. I mean, I don't. Oh, wait, that's new. The black sludge is new. <gasps> it's Auntie Luigi. Power up. I think. Uh oh. I I'm pressing plus and nothing is coming up. I think. Okay, this has never happened. I've never had a Nintendo game crash. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm pressing plus, I'm pressing... Oh, oh, what the fuck? Okay, well, I fixed it. <clears throat> Have I ever played an instrument? No, I haven't. Wait, the only instrument I've played is the recorder in the fourth grade. <laughs> if that counts. Do they even teach, like, recorders in school anymore? <laughs> Mac just quit, Lavo. I don't think, you know, Mac needs to earn money. That way they can be independent, so. Work is important, chatters. You watch the stream on company time, you don't quit your job to watch the stream. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the game glitched right there. That was fucking weird. I need money to oil the stream, no! Don't spend money in the stream, unless. <laughs> Are they still doing the recording or school? Okay, I think they still do it for my. Okay, I was thinking about it, and when I was learning the recorder, we didn't have our own recorders. Like they would just be in a bin in the classroom, and the teacher would like sanitize them after every single class. But think about like how fucking gross that is that you're fucking locking lips with the person who just used the recorder right before you. It never occurred to me, like, how gross it was. Okay, I wanted to get... What do you have? I have three cat bells. Okay. Got him? 
Easy clap. Yeah, like, kids can choose to buy their own quarters, like, they sold them at the school, but for the grave, why are you gonna buy a recorder for your kid if they're only gonna use it for two months, you know? Did you ever get the same recorder twice? I don't know. Because how it worked was, um, for every lesson you passed, you get, like, a string on your recorder, but you couldn't- They would just give you the string, but you wouldn't put it on the recorder. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it would be fucking weird if they had recorder lessons during pandemic. That'd be kind of concerning. Like, you're literally spitting and salivating all over the recorder. <laughs> okay, the propellers are back now. So they taught you ukulele in school and chimes? That's cool. Cause I know, um, for my district, in order to do band or, um, or orchestra, you had to purchase or rent the instrument, so I was never able to, cause it was way too fucking expensive. Like, they had discounts for, like, low-income families, but still, it was too expensive for us. And, like, I don't think I could handle, <laughs> like, playing an instrument anyway. It's, it's too much, like, because for me, I know I personally have difficulty with, like, my mobility in terms of, like, if I tell myself to... That's why I'm not... A, that's why I'm bad at games, too. It's like, for example, if I tell... My brain is telling my fingers to press A, to me it almost feels like there's a delay. That's... It's just like my reflexes have always been bad. So I feel like maybe if I played an instrument that could have helped it when I was younger, but at this point, I'm a lost cause. Like, <clears throat> I don't know how much it's gonna help me. I think for the last shine, I have to get the final two coins. Which I know I saw one up top here. Hi, Georgia. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. Yeah, I agree. Like, it took me a long time to, like, master the recorder, but... It is muscle memory once you practice it more and more. I believe in you. Thank you, Wolf. I appreciate that. We love our wholesome, supportive chatters. Bowser's roar almost sounds like a cat. Kind of weird. Wait, I see something here. Wholesome, we are here for peace, but... You are here for peace in underscore 17, which I think is pretty close enough. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, secret here. Yeah, I see some like side windows along that top building. Also on this side as well. I, I, okay, I need to wait till Bowser's gone. Because I'm not doing this difficult part and like only to fall off or get hit by fire. He can only hear for your mom jokes and meanness. I mean, partially true, but you know, they're wholesome at times. I think for me, a good chatter is like... I would have to say like 60% wholesome and then 40% goofing and gaffing. Because, you know, I want funny chatters. Because funny chatters keep the stream alive. Oh my god. Please just- <laughs> No way, no way, no fucking way. Wait, secret? I already got that coin. You can't see it, but I fucking rolled my eyes. One mistake just ruins everything. I fall to the bottom. 
My day is ruined. Chat's gonna get angry. <laughs> okay, has any chatters played this part of the game? If so, it gets more difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> I've become a selective mute? Okay. <laughs> no problem. I mean, we do love our lurkers, so... Okay, I think the problem with the propeller mechanic is you have to, like, press B and then hold B to, like, fly. That's my problem. I keep on pressing B and not holding it. I keep forgetting. There's a reason why I don't play Smash, like, ever. It's too much, like, complex button inputs. My little brain can't handle it. channels to where they have like a channel point re reward to where you can like time out or temporarily ban another chatter and I think it's really funny. I don't think I'll do it because I feel like some chatters will like abuse that and be mean <laughs> but we can try one day because like my kind of thing is like I'm very blunt I'm very brazen with my opinions and how I conduct myself in terms of my commentary so I try my best not to be like outwardly mean. So Chad, is if there's any time where like you take offense to what I say or like if I'm a bit too harsh, please tell me. But do so in a nice way. Okay, so this one I have to fall. And I fly! He saved. One more point. Subway bread? Okay, the issue with Subway bread, and like most any fast food, mind you, you have to eat it like right away for it to be good. Like eating Subway the next day is not gonna be good. Oh fuck! I lost my propeller? Wait, there's like a- there's a hidden ledge on the bottom there. I would gladly ban you from mobs. <laughs> I fell off. Who's secret? Okay, literally, how is there not a coin here? This is like the best place to put a coin. No, like seriously, how is there not a secret here? Okay, yes, there is a Bowser Jr. secret, but not a coin? Bullshit. Like, I'm one of the few people who kind of likes a soggy sandwich, so I kind of like when my bread is soft. But not a lot of people like that. <laughs> so, Chad, recommendation for Subway. If you're gonna get Subway and not eat it right away, I'd recommend getting cold sandwich. I go backwards because I feel like I've looked everywhere I could have. Oh, wait. Wait, hold up. No, no, Mario, come on. They're literally right there. Fall again. Fly. I fell off. <gasps> no! I'm gonna fall, and then fly. I saw, like, a mystery box up top. Oh, the reason why I'm sticking is because I have the cat suit. For the monster, your mom. <laughs> I, I tell my mods to lurk. That way people know they're here, but... That's the thing I've seen and noticed with Twitch chats, is when chatters see that the mods are more active, then they are less likely to chat. Or they're more likely to show their, let's say, true colors. WHY AM I NOT FLYING HIGH ENOUGH?!
Also, mods' identities are secret. We don't want to expose them. I'm scared out. Exactly. Be scared. Don't test them. <laughs> it's me? Okay, dude. Sure. Oh, wait, I have the cat suit. I was like, why am I stuck here? Okay. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, the coin has to be here. Because it's somewhere on this tower. It's not at the TP top, it's not at the bottom here. Okay, I got that one already. No, it's okay. I mean, auto mod is good because how auto mod works is only the mods see the message. So if it's actually bad, we can delete it. Whew. But don't feel bad, chatters, because like I have a stricter auto mod function. Because in my eyes, I'd rather um, it catch things before like someone actually says something really bad. Okay, I need to get rid of the cat suit. The, the cat suit is not working in my favor. Doesn't Amina have collected them all? No. I need one more. I need one more coin. Maybe it's over here somewhere. I feel like it'd be over here. Because there's like a lot of like empty space. Okay, it's not here. Noted. I feel like usually the coins aren't in two like hacky places. They're usually like out in the open. There's no coins here. Okay, I feel like it has to be here. Oh, I saw a secret up top here. Mac, you're free? Nice. Let's go. You know what else? Who is free? Matters who are subscribed because we are an hour into stream, so it is time for me to run a few minutes of ads. People who are subscribed enjoy ad free viewing for a whole month. Isn't that sick? But. You can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just $4.99. This is $5. Skip your coffee today and get ad reviewing all month long. Or if you have a Twitch Prime, like it to your Twitch account, get a free Prime sub every month. So, chatters, we'll see some of you guys in a few, but stick around. We're going to continue with Super Mario 3D World. Um, get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Been playing that for almost an hour. I know. I know. It's cringe. I'm not good at this game. Okay, I never said I was good at this game. Chatters, the 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 D is a mod only command. So you guys have to copy and paste the copy pasta. <laughs> I just don't have it on my keyboard. Actually, I'm gonna put it on my keyboard. Cause fucking the meta yesterday, chatters kept typing fucking D in the chat room. Okay. There, there's nothing in this corner either. I literally have no idea where the coin is. I, I genuinely have no idea. This is not here. It's not there. It's not anywhere. Yeah, because the mystery box is there from the previous section. It can't be up here. 
Do I need to look it up? I'm, I'm genuinely, like, at the point where, like, I feel like I need to look it up. Would chatters get mad if I looked it up? Thoughts? Popsicles or ice cream? Ice cream all the way. Ice cream all the way, dude. Is it not under the ledge of a browser? I already got that shine. I literally already got it. Yes, no cheating? Wait, fuck. I, I drank water. Chatters. I drank my water like every fucking ten minutes. I have to tell you guys to drink water. There's a question on the wall, but that's not where the shine is gonna be, though. It's just for power-ups. Wait, this is new? If the shine is behind you, I'm gonna fucking scream. I'm gonna scream. Okay, it's not here, thank god. We're not gonna scream. Yeah, I, I genuinely- I like finding stuff on my own. But if I ever get to a point where, like, I'm genuinely lost, I will look it up. Ooh! Cash money, baby! You be rich! You're filthy rich! You haven't drink water? No, you're, you're fine, you're fine. It, it just shows that you're paying attention and caring, so you're fine. Ugh. Oh, ice cream, get ice cream, obvi. Giorgio, get ice cream. Okay, chatters, I'm... I'm gonna look it up. So, I'm not a phone streamer. I'm gonna look up where the last coin is. How come I don't have a hydrate? Because it's annoying and cringe. Um, I talked about this before, but for my Channel Play Redemptions, I don't want them to be too hacky. And I feel like the Hydra one is, like, so overdone, so cringe. Um, Kitty right now screaming, I know. <laughs> but, Chatters, if you look through my Channel Play rewards, it's either relevant to the stream, i.e. choose my character, or it's related to, like, a talent or a skill I have. You know, like, the singing, or the calligraphy, and, like, the wallpaper. It's related to what I can do. Like, something unique that I can do. Yeah, if you're still having issues with your channel points, um, definitely make sure you have your most recent version of your browser downloaded, and if it persists, contact Twitch support. Okay, so, Bowser's Fury. What is this world called? Chris, climb castle. Crisp, crime, climb, not crime, castle. Wait, did I actually run the ad? I did. <laughs> Crisp, climb, castle, coin locations. Okay, I'm looking through the wiki how. Okay, it's in a hidden room. It's fucking bullshit. Oh my god. Okay, so apparently it's back where that tall wall of beetles is. Actually bullshit that it's hidden like that. Wait, hold. Okay, it says it's up here somewhere. Okay. Crisp is a nice word. Cookie Crisp is my favorite cereal. <laughs> I almost typed I didn't get an ad. Well, you shouldn't get ads because you're a subdeacon. Crisp Prime Class. <laughs> I don't have dyslexia, but I have a lot- I have difficulty saying words sometimes and it's frustrating. Okay, so, okay, it says, As you scale the tower, go past the tall tower of colorful, be colorful beetles and keep climbing up. You'll see a ledge leading to seemingly nowhere on the left. Okay, there's no picture. It gives me, like, this shitty-ass picture. 
Okay, well, if I need to climb the wall, I think I need the cat suit, yeah? Oh, is it over here? No. Wait, did you guys see that? See that little box up on the ceiling? Is that it? Where's the shadow from the mystery box? Okay, well, I don't have a propeller now. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, I have to read that again. That doesn't make sense. It says, go past the beetles and keep climbing up. Okay. So then it, it's, it might be around this corner. This is what they're talking about. I thought this is weird that this ledge was here. Oh my god. I kept walking past it every time. It's so stupid. I don't think there's ever been a section when there's been like a hidden room. This is actually BS. Okay, finally I got it. Oh my god. Finally. Oh, look at that. We did it. We got another tower done! Yeah, honestly, fuck that. You did it all by yourself? Well, I did have to look it up. <laughs> so, kind of. Wait, I just realized I'm falling off. <laughs> YouTube should have it? Yeah, I saw a video, but it's like, I'm not combing through a five minute video. I'd rather look at the wiki how. After an hour, true. <laughs> okay, chatters, I want you guys to buy the game, record yourself playing the game, and then see how long it takes you to beat every single level. I mean, cause like, any game where there's exploring is obviously gonna take a long time to like, explore. That's why I'm not getting too like, upset or annoyed about it. No bad words. <laughs> yeah, WikiHow is my savior today, man. Okay, what's next now? Oh, I think I've gotten everything here. Now I think I can go do the big bell. Ah, uh, donde? Ah, uh, yeah. Can I fast travel? Oh, I, I can't fast travel. Um, I think YouTube does have an audio only mode for background play if you have YouTube Premium. Which, I do have YouTube Premium. It is 20 bucks a month, but it's totally worth it. Like, having no ads on YouTube is game-changing. Oh. 
Was that Spanish? I took Spanish in high school. I took up to Spanish 4. And on my AP Spanish exam, I got a 4. So I'm proficient, but I'm not like fluent fluent. That Giga Chad belt. Oops, wrong button. Wait, I've gotten everything, yeah? I got all five there. All five there. All five here. I don't think I missed a section. Twenty bucks a month? Yeah, it's a bit much, but I think for my- it's a family plan for YouTube, so I can have up to five accounts. Donde esta tu mama? Uh, ah, yeah. He's in the living room. Yeah, the reason why I was able to take Spanish 4 is, um... Wait! We can kill Bowser now! In a video game! Is because I took Spanish for one year in middle school. That way in high school I could take all Spanish. That way I was basically a year ahead. Okay, let's kill Bowser now, guys! In Minecraft. <laughs> let's get him! Yeah, sometimes chatters. If anybody knows Ebai, he's like one of the, like, literally the biggest streamers on the platform. And he's- WHAT?! Generally, what?! I lost my Gigabell. How'd I lose my Gigabell? I got it back. Saved. Oh, I can still dash. Okay. Oh, I, I keep on forgetting that I can run. <laughs> Ground bound! Oh, that did a lot of damage. Dog shit in this mode though. It's confusing as all hell. Yeah, so sometimes I watch like Ebay stream just to like get more exposed to like the Spanish language. I immediately lose it. Okay. Where's the Giga Bell? Where's my Giga Chad Bell? One more hit! I missed it! Again? There we go. Guys, we got him! Ha! It's almost like, how many times do we have to defeat Bowser before he's gone for good? Oh, wait. I forgot our mission was to, like... Make him not evil, not to, like, video game him. Because <laughs> Bowser Jr. is like, you need to save my dad! Yeah, I agree. I didn't realize the game would be this good, Mocha. Like, genuinely. It's pretty good. <gasps> New world! Ooh, the Lava? Okay. Bowser's actually the hero here. <laughs> I don't think so, dude. Okay. 
Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Ah, nuts. I really hope he would change back this time. I mean, um, <laughs> of course it didn't. Nobody shrugs off a hit for Mario better than my Bowser Papa, after all. Come on, let's find a way up that waterfall to look for more cat shines. Yeah, I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Well, let's get going. Okay, so we have to make sure Bowser hits over there. Yeah, Hassan Avi, yeah. <laughs> He's my favorite streamer. Yeah, the way that Twitch recommended works is that if you have a channel that you watch already, and a lot of the viewers also watch that Twitch channel as well that are recommended to you. Okay, I see something here. So for example, all the streams that I watch typically will most likely get recommended to you. And then in turn, any streams that a majority of you guys watch We'll, we'll probably get recommended to other viewers, too. Wait, uh... How am I supposed to do this? Can I go in the slime? Okay, damage boost, damage boost! Okay, that's not it. Oh, I died? In a video game? <gasps> I lost everything! Okay, we're back here. Damn! He made me broke, yes he did. I wonder how I'm supposed to get it then. Cause like, I can't really damage boost if I take a hit. And that's gonna be a problem. Oh! Secret? You started using Twitch more when I started watching you? That's kinda how my experience was on Twitch as well. Like, the first streamer that I consistently watched was Ludwig. He now streams on YouTube now, Sag. But once I was on the platform more... <clears throat> I started, like, watching other content creators and such, right? Like, I watch more Twitch than I do YouTube now. It's kind of crazy to think about. Oh, there's one more, Elton, huh? Yeah, I think Scootish is, I think, more similar in my niche than Katie is. Because he plays a lot more Nintendo games. Katie doesn't do... She does variety, but she's trying to do more just chatting. I'll use Twitch for you, thank you. <laughs> I've had a lot of people say, like, who come over from TikTok or YouTube or whatever, and they said they've made a Twitch account. Or they, like, reopen their Twitch account just to watch me, and I'm like, well, that's kind of crazy. Like, it takes a lot of power in the sense of it's not very often you'll see people cross over to other platforms. So, thank you to anybody who does come over from like TikTok or YouTube or whatever. I really do appreciate it. Okay, I don't know. 
I generally don't know. Wait! When the slime disappears, we can probably come back to this one. <laughs> What's TikTok? I don't know. Like, literally the biggest platform at this current time and moment. Even bigger than YouTube. Yeah, I agree. I very much would rather watch, like, a highlight video on YouTube than a full Twitch stream. But I wish I could do more YouTube content, but I just don't have the time now. Because it takes a long time to edit. Long form stuff. Oh! No! No! Guys! Are there- Oh no! Oh, they're alive, thank god. Save. Wait, can, can- Oh, I don't think I can jump on it. The poor dino- I know, I murked him. That was heartbreaking! <laughs> Well, I'm sorry! We wasted- or wasteland Giga Bell. Giga Chad Bell right here, guys. Should I do it? Should should we sacrifice the kitten? Not today. <laughs> no! <laughs> I thought I was gonna run right off. <laughs> it's like I spared this one. <laughs> Hi, Jakey. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Love. Secret? Whoa! Camera's fucking up. over here. One coin. I think I'm gonna get the fire. That way we can attack him. Is it cloud? Intercept him! Get him! Okay, it looks like all the coins are here. No, I have not played Mario Galaxy. The only Mario games I've played is Mario Kart, Super Mario Odyssey, and then Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. So a lot of the stuff I play on stream is going to be blind playthroughs.
Yeah. <laughs> Whoop is not a D-Gen chatter yet. <laughs> I appreciate how formal it is. You know, because I know I know we got some secret D-Gen chatters in here. I think prime example. <laughs> I know I myself, I can be somewhat of a D-Gen too. Because like I know I definitely like toned myself down for stream, like I'm not as I guess how can I see it? As vulgar as I am IRL. But that collab stream I was with on Katie, I have some pretty good jokes. I would just like to say. Have I played Mario Paper Mario Origami? I that's another one I wanted to play, but I never got to. Is there a Paper Mario game ported to the Switch? Guys, Bowser came back. We didn't beat him this time. <laughs> I know, that's kinda how I feel too with like my normal self, like I do like put on more of a shtick for stream. I'm slightly more extra, slightly more like I guess energetic. But IRL, I'm super quiet and introverted. And I think a big reason why I do that is if your on-screen personality is the same as your IRL personality, then you're not going to have any degree of separation from it. Like, it's going to become more toxic over time. But that's just kind of the way I see it. I've had enough of him already. I know, me too. <laughs> Hi, Luigi. Welcome to stream. Yeah, it's probably anti-you, Luigi. <laughs> yeah, Katie's doing- she's doing fine. She doesn't stream as often. It's because, like, she's kind of limited with her schedule and also, like, her tech capacity, so... She's around. She usually keeps people up to date on Twitter, so... I kind of want to go down here. Okay, chatters, who's funnier, me or Katie? Be honest. Because, okay, I think I'm funnier. Because during that um, collab stream we did, I had some banger jokes, okay? No, you guys have to pick one. I didn't hear what you said, you're literally capping. I don't know who Katie is, so you? Easy clap, I win. <laughs> um, we're talking about Cutie Lee, she's friend of the show, she's in my auto-host list. She does just chatting and variety streams. So if you like me, you'll probably like her. She's a bit more, I guess, edgy is what I can say? Why would I get a star? What, what's the point of me getting a star? Huh? Oh, there's a secret over here. Can he travel that far? Oh, he can! What the- <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I'll buy you the game you want if you tell me. No chatters. I'm goofing, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Katie is my friend. So I'm not gonna be mean. Okay, let's be honest. If I'm funnier than Katie, she is prettier than me. Like, she's got that in the bag. Because she is cute. Oh, okay. I got a bell. Nice. Okay, no problem. We'll see you later, Raven. Have fun hanging out with you today. No, I know what you're saying, Decon. It's not good to compare yourself, but... She's like a 10, okay? <laughs> yeah, she has a gentle word to tell her she's cute. Yeah, literally stroking her ego. <laughs> Imagine Katie shows up in chat. Fuck. That'd be bad. Oh, 
Oh, we're at a different lighthouse. Frick. Well, we can explore this one. Okay, Mac, don't feel bad. You know, you're doing real life things, so I know people can't come to every stream, but VODs will always be published. Unless I say something bad. <laughs> I'm just looking at how this part is set up. <laughs> so you stayed up to date with the Megan lore? <laughs> I mean, I think that's like a big part of streams. Like, I know for me, I am such a parasocial viewer at times. Like, I feel like, for me, I feel like I have to watch like all of Hassan's like streams. Because I feel like I'll miss something. Like, I don't know, it, it's kind of toxic at its core, but... As long as people understand that streaming is entertainment and that you don't actually know the streamer as a friend, I think it's fine. Uh oh. What is this? Okay, that was cool. That was actually pretty sick. I feel bad about my crops. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine. It's just gonna bother me for a while. I mean, like, I've just gotten to the point where, like, there's nothing I can do. Like, the lavender is dead. It's gone. So, we gotta wait till next year. Slime is gone! See, I'm not the person in my family that has a green thumb. Let me tell you that. <laughs> okay, I wonder where this will take me. Let us see. Oh, secret? Oh, we got them all! Let's go! all the way. I almost fell off. Oh, wait. If I would have had Bowser destroy this, I wouldn't be able to run on this path. I wonder how I would have done it then. You've hacked the system? Hackermans, what'd you do? Did I get a win in Fall Guys? Um, no I didn't. Sedge. I got pretty close though. I think in the two hours that we played, I think I got to the final round like three or four times, so I did decent. 
So I wasn't like too upset about it. Oh, there's a power button. I mean, the way I see gaming, like, it just takes time to develop your skill over time. Oh, it's timed? Okay. So anytime you guys see me, like, get mad on stream, like, I'm not actually mad, I'm just trolling. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the best pass I have to take. Or path. Have I played Breath of the Wild? I played a little bit offline with my sister because we bought it when it came out. And, um... And it's fine. Like, my biggest thing is that it's a bit too much of an open world for me. Where it just got, like, overwhelming the play over time. Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. But first, we have to destroy the blocks. So maybe I'll do Breath of the Wild on stream sometime. But I feel like that's a game that we're going to be playing for a long time. Because there's just so much to explore in it. Okay, Deacon. I mean, uh, I guess you are hacking the system, but you're literally self-reporting. <laughs> Hey, give me that shine, baby! The chatters when they go outside. I don't even care. Okay. <laughs> as long as you don't get into actual trouble. Being outside is painful. Yeah, you're right. Especially now. It's way too fucking hot outside. Oh, I went the wrong way. We actually saved? Well, there's more. No, I missed it! Save. No, 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 come on. No way, no way. Bruh. Okay, dude. This is gonna be another one that's gonna take me way too many tries and I'm gonna get upset. I do not like the POW coin ones. Cause I think the la- I think it was the last time we played this. I took like 20 minutes to get one of these. But you know what? I'm gonna do it faster this time. Cause I know the pass I have to take. Okay, I fucked up that time. <laughs> I royally fucked up that time. Okay. Hope you're doing okay, Caspian. Feel free to chill here. Oh fuck, I messed up again! Okay, I'm just gonna wait here. I'm gonna stall. Okay, again! I keep on missing. Okay, we still got it. In the bag. Easy. No, come on. It's hard to like figure out oh which way to go. Oh my god, this goes on forever, doesn't it? I'm not really far that time though. 
Like, genuinely, I got really far. Would that have been the last one? God damn. Okay, let's go again. Am I a barb? Um, that's Cardi B, right? If it's wrong, fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't keep up with celebrity culture. Because I think at its core, fandom is just toxic. So I'm not obsessed with, like, Nicki Minaj. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I fucked up. No, I just- I don't keep up with like any celebrity culture. For any chatters, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. I got it! Cancel me on Twitter? No! Chatters, don't do it! I'm just- I'm literally oblivious. You about to upset the Barb fans? No! Okay, Deacon. I cannot tell you how many comments I get saying, Rainy Rodriguez? Or is that you? I literally get so fucking many. And it's annoying as shit. <laughs> it's like, I know I do kind of look like her. I know I do. But it's just like, bro, think of a better joke. But look, I got it, guys. I got it that time. Let's go! There's probably something new at the top. Can you give me VIP for free? No. But if I did that for one person, then everybody would want VIP for free, and that's not fair. And you know what? This is a democratic chat room. Wait, that- okay, that does not mean you get to vote for who gets to be VIP. Only I get to choose. This is a dictatorship. <laughs> Wait, how do I get to the dock? Oh, it's a different path. I gotta go back up. No, because I think for right now, VIPs is reserved for people I know, or like streamer friends, and the attorney winners. That's who it's allotted for as of right now. Because like, if everybody were VIP, it wouldn't be special anymore. That's so rude. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. <laughs> nah, cause like, the reason why VIP is a prize for the tourney is because I can't do actual pri- like, cash prize things, so. <laughs> Let's make it not special then. Five head. Big brain. No, I think there is a max to how many VIPs I can have in the chat room. I think I can only have 10. Because the way you unlock VIP badges to have more in your chat room is... I dropped my remote. Um, you have to have more people in your chat room. So, yeah, so chatters, if you want more VIP badges, you guys gotta talk more. And by talk more, I, it means, I think it means unique chatters. Everybody VIP, I can't do that. It's not fair. Oh Bowser's stirring. He's a rumbling. Okay, I think I got all the coins for this section, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm trying to see if I unlocked any 
Oh, right here. There is something over here. Oh my god, okay. Oh well, I lost already. <laughs> Let's go again. The main character moment. <laughs> Seriously, it is. Protagonist energy. <laughs> I mean, okay, we've talked about this before, but um... There's a reason why I don't like giving certain chatters more attention, or I don't like reading every message, is because- God damn it! I don't want people to feel like they're entitled to my intention, because that's just gonna lead to more toxicity later if I ever do grow. You guys are my background characters? Oh my god. We got a narcissist in the chat room, guys! <laughs> I mean, having Bowser's Fury right now is not cool. Like, oh, he's right there. It is not helpful for this challenge. I'm gonna be honest. He's following me? No! Uh. Damn, damn, damn. Hey, Raven, welcome back. Oh, why am I back here? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, we gotta find the kitten. Oh, I see it, I see it. Look at him, he's so cute! <gasps> uh, okay! Dude, your Bowser just fucking killed him? Come on, your mom's right there! How can the mom not see you? Come on! Come on, go! <laughs> can I not grab him? Come on, your mom's right there. She's looking for you. No, honey, stop running away. But literally, she's right there. Thank you for clipping, Mocha. I appreciate that. Can I grab it? Oh, I can grab it. Okay. <laughs> I forgot the button for grab. The bomb doesn't care, probably. Okay, well... Now I need to figure out how to get back to where I was. Me as a mom? <laughs> oh no. Is there any way for me to, like, fast travel? No. Damn. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't really remember how to get back. Wait, let's look at the map. I'm here. gone this way before. Dive? Easy. should be Mario Kart. 
I mean, I was like wanting to play Mario Kart today. So I'm probably gonna play it offline. I mean, this shot is pretty cool. Like, look. All the sparklies. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, what the freak? Yeah, I agree. I don't like where I can't pin stuff on the map. It's very confusing. Can I go through here? Oh, okay. Guess not. Did I get Mario All-Stars yet? Um, yes. So... That is going to be one of the next games we're going to play. Because I think after Bowser's Fury... Oh, there's a... Sh oh, it's a bell. Um, we're going to do... Are there... We could do Galaxy or Mario Wii U Deluxe. That'll be our next lineup. Okay, I have to go all the way around... Wait, can I dive under the waterfall? Oh, I, I go up this ramp. That was it. I forgot. Oh, the, the shine is here. Oh, how do I get out of here? Okay, I can't attack. Okay, I think I gotta fall from the top in order to get out of the pipe in time. Yeah, so I, I have to jump down. Oh my god, he's right here? Wait, and I have to hold it? Shit. Okay, saved? No! No way it's gone! No! Yeah, I know I need a key. I had the key and then I lost the key. Damn. Okay, noted. Don't, you can't go in the water while holding the key. Got it. Yeah, I know I need the key. They had a padlock on it. <laughs> I am not DUM. I am S M A R T. <laughs> You're gonna head out, no problem. I enjoyed chatting with you today. Hope you had a good time on your first stream, though. We'll see you next time, hun. Okay, let's try again. The weather won't stop changing. Yeah, Bowser keeps showing up. And it is a problem. Okay, maybe I can go down the pipe. Wait, okay. I, I have to hold Y. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna this is how I'm holding my controller right now. It is not comfortable. Okay, that is not the solution either. back though like huh
Do I have to, like, jump down? And, like, hope I land on the pipe down there? Oh, wait. I, I can maybe, like, go over here? Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. Oh my god. <laughs> no. I gotta- I gotta be careful, guys. Can nobody distract me. Nobody do anything to distract me. I love the tinkling noise that- Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, I think my safer bet is to jump here. Oh shit, okay, I made it, I made it. This, this is what I imagine type of walking feels like. Oh no, oh no! Bowser could not have come at a worse time. Oh, save, 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 save. Easy clap. There we go. That is another tower complete, guys. Yeah, look at that. Okay, Bowser is still here though. But you know what, guys? We are another hour in stream. So, it is time for another round of ad breaks. You can avoid the ad break by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee today, get ad previewing all month long, or if you have an Amazon Prime, link it to your Twitch account, you get a free Prime sub every month. So, the normal stream schedule is, we do Game of the Day for two hours, and then Animal Crossing for an hour. So, I think right here is the best part to end Bowser's Fury, because we just finished another tower. And then next week, when we play, we're going to spawn right in Bowser's Fury. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so chatter, stick around. We're going to continue with Animal Crossing after the break. So, if you like talking to me like just chatting vibes you're gonna enjoy the animal crossing party stream so we're gonna go ahead and run the ad break so get some water get a snack if you need it we will see some of you guys in a few also before the ad break if you're gonna watch that ad i just uploaded a new tiktok so chatters go watch that tiktok go like it go leave a comment anyway we're gonna run the ad break right now so get a snack get some water You missed the crumble taste test? Fuck. I did make a highlight of it, Caspian. So if you look, if you're on Twitch desktop and you look at videos, it should be under the t highlight tab. And yes, I do also have VODs up as well. I don't know why my camera rotated. There we go. Okay. I hate that cookie is an emote name. I think it's cute, okay? I think it's cute. Okay, what should we title the stream, guys? Hmm. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. Okay, I changed my title. Brewing up a storm. I found Anka. Her powers really do work. 
<laughs> no. I feel like if I put I found Ankh in the title, people will be like, You lied to me. Clickbait. Did I find Aurora? No, I didn't. But we did find a different penguin to replace her for now, I guess. Okay, I'm not a phone streamer. I'm just looking at the TikTok that I just uploaded. We already have one like on it? Oh my god. You guys are crazy. Yowza's Fury got into Animal Crossing? Maybe. Have y'all seen that one meme? Yes, I think everybody has seen that meme. We do not- yes, we do not need to talk about it. This is a PG-13 stream, guys. <laughs> oh, Bowser's Fury is in the game because it's raining. Okay. I feel like Bowser's Fury is still like a niche type game. I don't think everybody would get it, so... Wait, wait. I was gonna make a sad joke. It was like, the rain is just like my tears, but you know, positive vibes today. We're not- we're not being sad. <clears throat> okay, let's get started. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timbaland, it is 12.54pm on Thursday, July 7th, 2022. Ooh. Now for today's announcements. Ooh. I'm very happy to announce that our museum is adding a cafe. The museum is closed for remodeling today, but the inconvenience will be worth it, I'm sure. My sincerest apologies to our museum's esteemed patrons. I hope everyone will visit the completed cafe tomorrow. Blathers asked me to pass on that message to everyone. I hope I captured his restrained excitement. Restrained excitement. <laughs> That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Do you mean toaster strudels? Is that what you're asking, Luigi? Because I've never heard of toaster scrambles. But I'm a big fan of Pop-Tarts. Not as much anymore because you know I'm an adult. But cereal has always been mid to me. Oh, also, I changed my fit last night because I bought a sword. Look at that. I am armed and ready with my sword. So I'm wearing, like, a prince fit today. Where are the glasses? I'm not wearing my glasses. I'm a prince. They didn't have glasses back in those days. Okay, we got Rooney. You ever been asking something, but you don't have an answer? I hate when that happens. Here's what I do. I just smirk real sarcastically. And I wait until things get awkward and they wander off. <laughs> Mood, literally. <laughs> Smart, right? Sometimes all you need to do is some cheapishness, and everything will just work itself out. Reactions can get you out of jams. <laughs> yeah, I never got toaster strudels. I always got pop tarts because toaster strudels were like ten times more expensive than pop tarts. No, Chatters, I, I have my glasses. Do you not see me? I have my glasses on. The character in the game is not actually me, okay? Put them on, chat. Ugh, chat, okay. Let's run a poll, since you guys are adamant. Do I need to have glasses for my character to be canon? Hey chat, do, do I really need to put my glasses on? Use your democratic right, go Pokemon, go to the polls. SMH did. Hi Ethan, welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, is that a chef hat? Oh, it's a lunch service cap. Ooh, I actually like that cap a lot. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Okay, I think that's all I need. I have everything else. Is that Sanic? No. <laughs> what? 
Okay, Charis, Pokemon, go to the polls. Yeah, no problem. I enjoyed chatting with you today, Mocha. I hope you had a good time today, too. I know you said this was one of your first few streams, so I hope it was good. Hope you had a good time. But 34 kilometers? I just realized that's a lot, so... <laughs> that is a lot. I struggle biking a mile sometimes. Glasses on better when what's it at? No, chatters, I don't need my glasses. We need we need more no glasses in chat. <laughs> I wish I could break the pole in my favor. Well, like I oh wait, I put the hat on, didn't I? I didn't want to do that. I don't rig my elections, okay? I, you can never win the vote. That is cheating. I'm not gonna take away your democratic right to vote in my chat room. <laughs> uh, chat, you guys suck. Let me go get my stupid glasses. Wait, what if the thing was, if I wear the glasses in game, then I can't wear my glasses at IRL? Would that change your guys' mind? We love visual impairment. During Disability Month, SMH did. Or Disability Pride Month. I'll take mine off too. Okay. In solidarity. <laughs> okay, let's get my stupid glasses. I can't believe you guys. See, I was making my fit last night and I was like, I know they're gonna make a hissy fit about my glasses. Yeah, I think these would look more old timey. They kind of match. There we go. I can see now. <gasps> Scramblers is like a breakfast version of strudels. Okay, that actually sounds good. That sounds fucking good, actually. I would try that shit. Okay, so what should we do today? Let us say. But we should do some fishing, because we need- oh, okay, chatters. Um... <clears throat> the fishing tourney is going to be on Saturday, so we are doing a bonus stream on this Saturday. It's probably gonna be in the morning still. It, it, it'll most likely be at 11. So, we need to get some fish and some bait ready to go, because it is raining, so... There's gonna be lots of shells and middle and clams ready for us to make lots of bait today. What in the world sounds good but gross? I think slime is a prime example. I feel like a lot of little kids like playing with slime, but me as an adult, I never had that when I was younger. And just the sound, the look, the feel grosses me out. When I used to work at the daycare, the kids would be like, do you want to touch my slime that I made at home with my mom last night? And I'm like, no. Because one, think about all the germs that are on that slime. They're letting all the little kids touch it, little... All the kids are like snotting on their fingers, so there's probably like boogers on the slime. So I would have to say slime is a good thing, but not for me. Never, ever, not for me. You've never had a pop tart? They don't have it in the UK. Well, Deacon, you need to make your way to the states one day. Or I assume there's a way for you to like order them online. Cause like I know every year for Christmas I get my friends like Japanese Kit Kats. They are fucking expensive, but you know, they're delicious. Oh, should we do a Kit Kat tasting stream? Or a segment of stream? Because I feel like every content creator on like Twitch or YouTube has done like an Asian snack tier list or tasting stream. Yeah, literally, the shipping was insanely expensive. It was like, no joke, $125 just for shipping. It was crazy. Do I like the states? Um, they're it. America could be better, but you know, it's it.
You gotta go. Go where? Your mom's house? Ooh, got him! We got Mac this time. <laughs> okay, there's surprisingly not a lot of mineral glams. See, I said that just so one would spawn. Easy. I'm talking to our UK chatter. Okay. I love seeing the thunderstorms in game. Because I like how like the rain animation is heavier and also you get the flashes of light. Yeah, you can add on mobile. Yeah, chatters, I do only have one mom. Oh, new bug? My parents have been married for like 25 plus years, so... I'm one of the lucky ones. Yeah, the glasses look stupid with this fit. I don't like you guys for making me go put them on. They look D.O.M. They don't match the fit at all. Don't be rude to your virtual self. Well... It was not my doing. I did not choose to have glasses today. You know what? If I had a monocle, I think it might work. But I don't think I'd purchase one of those. The fit is kind of thumbs down anyways. Okay, I wanted like a prince fit, okay? Wait, I had a crown. I was wearing a crown, wasn't I? Oh, but then I had the chef hat, so it took it off. I need to go get that crown. <laughs> Not to brag, but... Sure, keep telling yourself that, Caspian. Megs isn't fucked. You got me there. Well, this is cute. I think our next, because Chatters Chatters, we're going to be doing a special Animal Crossing stream on Sunday the 17th. I'm going to make a formal announcement on Twitter later this week, so if you aren't already, go follow my Twitter, that way you can stay up to date. But I think the next Animal Crossing stream I want to do, I want to do a fishing tourney. Because on Saturday, I'm going to show you Chatters what is the best way to catch fish, as, as many fish as you can in three minutes. That is my strategy. I'm going to teach you guys... How to be the best fisherman to ever live. Okay? So the plan is, I teach you guys how to fish on Saturday. And then next month, for the monthly Animal Crossing stream, we'll do a fishing tourney. That way you guys can prove to me that you learned skills from my stream. Therefore, I, I am an educational streamer. <laughs> it looks like a homeless prince. Fuck. Damn. You guys are ruthless to me. What time will it be? It'll probably be at 11 on Sunday. Like, it's not... Similar... It's not gonna be like Mario Kart where you need to be there for moments. It's probably just gonna start at 11. You'll be at work? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn. I mean, so, like, that's a big reason why I don't do playing with viewer streams all the time. Is because I don't have... Okay, I will be as transparent as I can for this. For the month of June, I averaged 10 viewers, which is double than I did the previous month. No! Okay, that was brain dead. That was brain dead. Let's go away. That was actually DUM. I slipped up. I messed up. Um, but for the month of July, or June, I 
average 10 viewers. Meaning, I will either, I'll have dips in viewership and also I'll peak higher than 10. Because it's an average, right? But even when you've grown to that, I guess, average viewer count, you can't guarantee that people will, like, want to play with you whenever you stream. So that's why we're only doing playing with viewer streams occasionally, not every week, because I feel like people would get tired and bored of it. Um, did I say Saturday? I said it's a Sunday for the cooking stream. But anyway, that's the reason why we don't do playing with viewers every stream, because I feel like people would get bored of it. And also, I want to like plan shit for the Animal Crossing ones. I said Saturday. Oh, oopsie. Well, I think I meant to say it. I got confused. Because we're doing the fishing tourney this Saturday. And then next, next Sunday, we're doing the cooking one. I'm confused now. Fuck. Shit. Well, I'm sorry. I misspoke. Cancel me. That thunder. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Luigi. <laughs> I've never watched Star Wars, so... I don't know if you're making, like, a good or a bad comparison. <laughs> but why do I like bugs? I think they're cool. I like- the thing I like about bugs a lot is that they're very small and they're very intricate, usually. Like, there's so much detail in such a tiny little creature. Okay, we'll see you next time, Deacon. We enjoyed hanging out with you today. Oh, we'll see you next time, hon. No! I fucked up! Okay, let's see if anybody has recipes. So I think today we're gonna fish, and then we're gonna go to the deserted island. Because I need to grind some bait for Saturday's tourney. So I think I have like 100 pieces of bait, but I want at least 200. Oh, he is cooking. Let's go. Buongiorno. Sorry, I'm in the middle of creating a culinary experience, and I like to use words as tasty as my ingredients. What you making? Glad you asked. It's a little treat called peach jam. Maybe you've heard of it, but have you heard it Raymond style? You have not? Let's fix that. Let's fix that, shall we? I can give you an advanced copy of the recipe. Guys, I've made peach jam before, and it is fucking delicious. I mean, honestly, any type of jam is pretty good. Just promise me that you'll let me try your peach jam. I mean, why is he using a, um, skillet for jam, though? Raymond is so cringe. Raymond is fine. He's just, like, he's like frou-frou. He's very stuck up, but you know he's fine. I mean, I don't understand why, like, everybody was searching for him when he came out. Oh, people made him cringe? Okay, I do agree with you on that. Really, that's interesting, Caspian. I find it's a lot easier to be mean online. Like, I was talking about this with my friend last night. 
we were basically saying there's so many people online who are like mean or trolly or like just outright like hateful and the reason why they feel comfortable enough to do so is because they don't have to show their real face they don't have to show their real name like people can easily hide behind a fake account if they want to say some like actually vile stuff Really? That's interesting. I mean, okay. I feel like I can only be mean if I know the person. Because then I know how they're gonna react. Like, I'm never gonna be in public and, like, go off at a service worker or, like, go off at a rando. Because, like, you don't know if they're actually crazy. You don't know if they're gonna, like, fucking kill you or something. Like, we talked about this the other day, I think, but if you're gonna talk about... Controversial things or like have a potential confrontation, you have to make sure you're safe. Because you don't want to be like assaulted or hurt or like, or actually have like your feelings hurt in that capacity. Because like, I saw this video of someone getting fucking stabbed on Twitter today, and I was like, oh my god. Like, there wasn't a warning or anything. And I, it was bad. And I was like, oh my god. There was no trigger warning. Because usually for like graphic videos on Twitter, they'll have like a pop up, like, some imagery may be graphic. Be wary, right? Clown New York. Yeah, it it uh, it was just like, oh my god. It's like I I didn't want to see that today. So it's like you don't you don't know how like other people will react. I mean that doesn't mean you can react in a violent way back, for the most part. Like when I was working in service, I was genuinely scared. Especially during pandemic, because, like, everybody's tensions were high. That I would get fucking, like, assaulted at work or something. Like, all the anti-maskers or all the people complaining about having- not having products available in the store. Like, I genuinely was scared of, like, getting hurt at the workplace. Because I work for front counter. And it's like, you have to deal with the people who are in bad moods. Or, like, people who are gonna, like, start fights. Like, verbally fights or, like, yell at you. <laughs> Yeah, Caspian, if that's a common concern, definitely talk to your PCP or your doctor about it, if it's a reoccurring issue. Yeah, I know when I was working, I was hyper aware of, like, everything going on. I think that's why- a big reason why I'm choosing not to work right now, because I feel like it would be too much stress for me, like, I would not be able to handle it. Because, like, I already have so many, like, anxieties and worries going on in my head all the time. Is New York a good place? I don't know. I've never been. I mean, as with anywhere, there's gonna be good and bad aspects of it, so... I think it's best to, like, ask, ask people who actually live there. And you can seek that information on your own. So I, I don't have any lived experience in New York. I'm gonna expose myself. <laughs> Yeah, I figured Mac, you were from New York. I got some context clues. I feel like the population density for Yunok is too big. That's part of the problem. It looks like there's rice in that bin. I mean, if we're gonna talk about, um, not necessarily the politics, but, like, different regions in a state that are slightly more left or right-leaning, it's all based on, like, how, um, like, the county lines are drawn up. If anybody's familiar with the concept of, oh, what is it called? It's the concept where, like, government officials will, like, draw county lines to, to where, like, they're all, like, squiggly and weird. That way, everybody living in their county is, like, either red or blue. Oh, what's it called? I know what it's called. I was talking about it the other night with my friend. Gerrymandering. That's what it's called. That's why when you look at a map of your state, the counties are like all like jugga jugga, like jigsaw pieces. They're not like in straight blocks. Like, I know for Washington, I know Washington is definitely one of the more progressive states, but Eastern Washington is fucking right as all hell, and it's. Eastern Washington is not cool. Yeah, it's concerning. 
what the Republican Party is trying to do in some states and regions, and it's it's scary. But it, I think, I don't want to dwell on it too much, because you know I'm not a debate Andy. Um, it's interesting because the Republicans will be like, you know, you can't tell me what to do, you can't censor me. It's fascism. But then they're also pushing for policies that limit voting rights, that limit access to resources and education. And it's like, you are literally promoting what you said you hate. It's fucking brain dead, some of their takes. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Welcome to stream. <laughs> I assume you're on break, right? But thank you for coming and hanging out with us today for a little bit. <laughs> the pleasure. Okay, let's do one more lap around the island and then go to the deserted one. Yeah, I feel like most any service job would suck, but I feel like Dollar Tree has got to be the worst. And I think a big thing it comes down to is, like, the customers that come into your shop. Like, I feel like, similar to Walmart, you get some crazy people sometimes. You thought the vote was over? You're right. <laughs> I mean, the only thing we can vote in the chat room is stuff related to stream. <laughs> they don't argue much. Keyword much. Dude. If I'm ever gonna work in service, it has to be a job where customers, I don't have to deal with them directly. Like... I loved Subway, but you had some fucking nitty picky people sometimes. Well, there's so many clams, I'm loving this. Out of most any job, people are the most picky about their food. Because to me it makes sense because like they're actually gonna consume it. Versus like if it were like clothing or a product. Then that's a lot easier to return and like potentially less harmful if it's handled improperly. Like, the thing with food in my opinion, when it comes to returns, like, at that point, they've already left the store. They've already probably eaten it. And, like, if you think about it, most fast food tickets is usually no more than 20 bucks if it's two people, right? So, in my opinion, if I'm gonna be, like, a manager or an owner, what is 20 bucks? Like, just give them a fucking refund. Like, when I was working, my um, managers and franchisees would be like, you know, you cannot give out any refunds. And it's like, bruh. I can't give out a $5 refund. Like, you're gonna make me have this person scream at me when it's over $5? Like, come on. To me, if a ticket is less than 30 bucks, that's a drop in the bucket if you're talking about your, like, income for the day when it comes to, like, an establishment. That's nothing. And, like, would you rather have a customer get it, happily receive a refund? And potentially come back to your establishment in the future or like argue about a refund, not get a refund, and they never come back. Like you're missing out on so many future returns and possible tickets and income from that one individual. Like I don't understand how it's so difficult to justify giving out refunds for like low ticket items. I, I genuinely don't get it. <laughs> you 
No, I mean like not not cash money. I just mean like a refund. Cause like most transactions are like, where where I was working was on card. Can't even give it back on card. Really? Damn. That. See, like I. Uh, I don't, I mean, I kind of get why, but it's also, like, it's not worth the confrontation with the customer. Like, I don't, if it's company policy, respect the company policy, but that would not be my company policy if I was a business owner. <laughs> Am I gonna be dying? Nix, you'll be fine. Okay, that's an irrational thought. You are probably fine. They're probably calling to reestablish a prescription. You are fine. Am I gonna be dying? You are fine. See, I think exchange is fine, because then they still get something of equivalent value. I think that's totally fine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not- Okay, I was laughing at you, Nyx, but... I hate that when you call, like, an operator and they have ten options, but you know your, like, scenario does not fit any of those ten options. Oh, I'm scaring away all the bugs right now. <laughs> oh, I, I think I've seen the scramblers in the grocery shop. I just never bought them. But I think I've seen them before. The issue is, we can't, like, have a lot of frozen fruit in my house. Because, like, our freezers are perpetually always full. So, like, I can't even buy ice cream. I can't even get ice cream for a treat, guys. Sag. myself that I would like to be a business owner one day, but it's genuinely so much responsibility to one, be responsible for your employees, your customers, and also making sure your business is sustainable to keep those workers working. Like, I would love- I was talking to my sister about it, and she's like, you know, you should make, like, keychains and sell them. And she's like, I saw this video on YouTube of this lady who made keychains. I was like, that's cool. But you need to think about the logistics of it. You need to think about packaging, purchasing the supplies, all the actual time that goes into crafting said item. Like, all the independent, like, shops on Etsy, they're not usually meant for mass production. Like, it's usually just one person working. Maybe two. Like, there was a phase- okay, chatters. I'm a self-report. I'm a self-report. Bye, Nyx. I'll see you next time. Um... I have made earrings that I tried to sell on Etsy like three, four years ago. None of them sold. Literally none of them sold. I still have them. I don't know where I put them. <laughs> but I told myself I'm not ever going to make a product unless I know I'm going to be guaranteed to sell a thousand units. You know why? Because if you sell a thousand units for ten bucks, that's 10k. And if you're gonna be making something of that massive scale for like a thousand units, you probably have to invest like five or six K. So, I am not gonna sell anything until I'm guaranteed to make a profit. That's why um, I'm not gonna sell merch until I'm able to actually work with a production company. Like, I'm not gonna do... Like, you know how you see a lot of people, they have like just their logo or like a custom shirt at like some print shop? Like, I don't know what the actual site- I can't call a site off the top of my head, but if I'm gonna release a product, if it's ever gonna be like fan merch or anything, I wanna have full control and jurisdiction over all the production process. Like, I would love to have like a production company. That'd be cool. That'd be sick. Like, I'm not gonna just upload a picture to a t-shirt print site. And have people buy it from there wholesale. Like that that was kinda like eh. 
in my opinion. Like, it's fine if people do it, but it's just not what I want to do. Red bubble, I know. Like, it just. Because to me, those type of sites, you just automatically equiv equate it to, like, low quality. That's, that's just what I think. Like, if somebody is going to pay, like, 20, 30 bucks for a shirt, I want to make sure it's good. I don't want it to be some cheap-ass printed, not even screen printed, probably a vinyl shirt. Um, Chatters, if you don't know the difference, a screen print is basically where... You can look up videos on it, but they, like, put paint on the t-shirt. That way it's, like, actually, like, inked on the actual fabric. But in comparison, vinyl... It's like the plastic iron-on vinyl. After you wash your cracks, yes, literally. Like, vinyl is... It's fine if you're, like, mass-producing stuff. It's a lot cheaper than screen printing. Mind you, it's a lot cheaper and a lot less laborious. But it's a lesser quality product. And it's, like, if I'm gonna have a graphic tee, I want it to be screen printed. I want, like, I want to do that shit myself. Or not necessarily all by myself, but I want it to be screen printed. Like, I want to make sure I have quality stuff. Because there was a phase in my, I guess, art hobbies where, like, I made stencils. So I know that because, like, how screen printing works is you basically have a stencil. And then you, like, it, like, uh, how can I say it? Like, it kind of squeegees the ink over the shirt and the fabric. It's really cool. Look at videos later, guys. It's a very cool process, and it makes- it definitely makes a higher quality print on the shirt. And then with, like, clothing, you have to think about, like, domestic and then international production, and, like, international production is fine, it's a lot cheaper, but it- it definitely exploits foreign workers who are getting paid less than- like, far less than level wages, we, we can- and also, like, child labor is an issue as well with international production. Um. Like, I'm not saying that I want everything to be domestically made. Because definitely it's gonna- everything's gonna be a lot expensive- more expensive if you make it domestically. Because, you know, labor laws. <laughs> and, like, paying people level wages. <laughs> Apparently, companies don't value that. Dude, why am I such a political anti today? <laughs> One pity today, uh. It's unfortunate that foreign workers are exploited to that extent. Yeah, look at that after stream, Caspian. Oh, look at that underlight on the character. Also, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like I have that second light on at all times now. So sometimes when I like look over, you can see like a, a glint on my glasses and I think it's cool. I was watching back the VOD from yesterday. To, like find a highlight and I was like ooh that shine <laughs> cuz like my sister she was telling me you should make like keychains cuz she sent me this video where um the person made what do you call it like shrinky dink plastic keychains and then she put resin on it and I was like, you know, it's fine, but, like, it looks cheapy. Like, if I'm gonna make chi chains, I'm gonna, like, probably get them ordered and made. Like, I'd rather have something, like, like an actual fucking acrylic chi chain. Like, if somebody's gonna charge ten bucks for a product that is, let's say, not as good as it could be if it were made by another company, like, I'd rather do that. I don't know. It's just, like, I'm very, um particular about things in the sense of I don't want people to feel like they're getting scammed. Like, I want people, if they're ever gonna buy something from me in the future, I want them to feel like they spent their money on something. That's a big reason why, as well, I do something for anybody who donates or gives to the stream. Because, like, I don't want people to do it and get nothing when I have the time and capacity to at least do something to recognize those people. Mr. 
Especially when I'm still small and can recognize people individually. Yeah, there's some, like, trash merch you'll see. Like, that's either, like, poorly designed or, like, actual, like, really bad quality fabric or whatever. And it's like, I don't want that- I don't want to be known for that. Like, I want to have good shit. Like, if I ever have merch, I don't want it to be, like, some niche, obscure reference. I want it to be, like, actual clothing or, like, a design that you would wear out and about. You feel like you wasted time when you support the creator and they make nothing good in return. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel as well. Like, if somebody has the money and the means to, like, make a good product, why not make the best thing you can? I think prime example that I really look up to in terms of quote-unquote merch um, is, like, the H3H3 production teams, like, how Hila basically founded the Teddy Fresh company. It's basically a clothing brand now. It, it, it's like something that can stand on its own, like it's still associated with their like content and their brand, but it's separate from them, and it's really cool. Yeah, it is a clothing brand now, it's crazy. Like that's what- if I ever do clothing or products, that's what I strive to be. Because like even something- somebody who doesn't know them will still like the aesthetic and the actual product on its own, like it has to be substantial enough to stand out. Like, I kind of want to get another sweatshirt from that. I think I think they literally had a drop today. I saw it on Twitter. Or it might be dropping tomorrow, I don't know. Because they usually post, like, sneak peeks of stuff. Oh, they did? Okay, that's what I thought. What's a limited drop? Fuck. I don't have money for that right now. Damn. Next time. <laughs> Me saying I don't have money to buy it right now, but I spent $50 on cookies this week. I'm a hypocrite. Yeah, I was looking at some of the information about their drop today, like a couple days ago, and it's cool. Like, it's insane that it's actually, like, made by the artists. It's, it's crazy. I love when they do shit like that, where they bring collaborators on. Well, they might produ mass produce it. Would they like actually be spray painting each one by hand or would it become like a print? I was talking to my sister about it because she was trying to convince me to like make those like crappy ass. Okay, not crappy, mind you. <laughs> Oopsie. Like, the- the handmade, like, fake acrylic keychains. And I was trying to explain to her, like, even if you were to print out, like, designs and stuff, you have to get, like, a special printer. Because when you print something, like, on paper, like, with printer toner, you, you don't have a full range of color. Like, you have to use, like, a different color grading system when you're making your actual illustration for print. Like, there's so many levels and complexity when it comes to product design. When I was, like, um... Choosing what career path I want to go on. I wanted to do product design, but there's so many different facets of it in terms of like packaging, the actual development, and constantly out of the actual product. It's insane how many levels there are to it. idea of having my own product like if my earrings ever did become successful I think it would be a fun like hobby to do but it would be very difficult to produce them on a mass 
massive scale. Like, I think the most units I've had at once was like 200, and that took months to make. Because I know for the earrings that I made, they were made out of soda cans. And for one pair, it probably took like 40 minutes per. Yeah, dude, if they did do a Lisa Frank collab, that would be insane. Like, I was so, like, shocked and surprised when they had the Looney Tunes collab. Oh my god. Yeah, when peak pandemic, my mom had a phase when she was making masks for everybody, too. Because, like, I know for me, I personally prefer the surgical now. Because, like, I bought them in bulk once they became more accessible for the public. But when they were still, like... Not as acceptable as not as accessible for like the medical staff. I was using the fabric ones my mom made, and they were fine. But surgical ones, I think are the most comfortable. The blue are ugly. I think the blue are fine. I I bought like both black and blue ones, but I ran out of the black ones, so I only I only wear the blue ones now. I mean, they do the job. I don't care about color. I think, oh my god, the little baby kid masks? Like, the mini ones for kids, and they got, like, little teddy bears or flowers on them. They're so cute. But you have to get them from work? I'm, so, I'm sure you can find them, like, bulk online somewhere. Because, like, anytime I leave the house, I put my mask on. Like, even if I'm answering the door. Because there was one time, like, someone was knocking on the door of my neighbor, and I went to, like, put my mask on. And she was at the door, like, handing me, like, I think it was food or something. And she's like, oh, why you got your mask on? I was like, because I didn't know who was at the door. Because, <laughs> like, it was delivery, man. They're probably talking to so many people. And it's like, I don't want to, I want to mitigate my risk, right? And she's like, okay, I guess. And then she hands me the food. ever been a time where I touched a wild animal like I got kind of close a few times like there was one time I was biking and I saw a frog there's been a few times where I got kind of close to a deer or a rabbit but then part of me is like they probably has disease like it's not worth touching and also don't ever touch like baby animals in the wild because I can guarantee you the mother is gonna be nearby like if you ever see fucking cubs just Go, run- oh, don't run away, but like, walk away slowly, like, do not approach them. And like, the people who keep wild animals as pets, they are a problem. Like, they should not be doing that shit. Like, I'll see people online, they'll be like, oh, look at my pet raccoon! And it's like, why'd you do that? Like, they're supposed to be wild, they're not supposed to be domesticated. And like, you're there's gonna be a day where you stop taking care of it, and then it's gonna need to be like, in a welfare center. Like, don't be doing that. Race the cub? No. Don't do that. I know the cubs are cute, but it's gonna, like, eat you one day. It's not worth Yeah, I was riding my bike a while ago, and a deer, it probably was like 20 feet away from me, which is still kind of far away, but pretty close for a deer, in my opinion. Like, that's the closest I've ever been to a deer. Yep. 
Yeah, my neighbor, she was on the highway one day, and like, not on the actual highway, but like, one of more of the, the side roads off of a highway. And a deer, like, looked at her, and then jumped on her car, and it fucking told her to, told her, to her car. Like, it landed on her windshield. Thankfully, she was fine. But still, people don't realize when you interact with the wild animals more, they become more accustomed to you. Or not necessarily you, specifically, but just people in general. It's gonna lead to more problems in the long term. Yeah, so don't feed them, don't interact with them. Exactly. The reason why, like, I bring this up is there- Okay, there's a reason why I didn't talk about this earlier this week. Because it was still kind of fresh, and I, I wanted to think about, like, what was the best way to tell the story. But, on, um, it was Sunday, so the day before 4th of July, I hear a knock on my door. She's, like, fucking banging on my door. Hi, Benix. Hope you're doing well today. When did these add this to Animal Crossing? I think they added this, like, last year. Oh, Benini. Sorry, I had to look back and find your nickname. Benini. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today, hon. They added this, like, last year. Anyway, so my story. So, on Sunday we hear, like, um, like, a banging at my door. I check my door. And it's our neighbor. She has her dog. And she's, like, she looks, like, scared and freaked out. And she's, like, hey, you know, there's a baby possum on your sidewalk. I don't know what to do. And I'm, like, okay, I can handle it, you know. And so, and she's, so she stands me, like, we both look at it. And it's, like, on the sidewalk. It's kind of, like, well, you know, it's not dead. It's not dead. I'm doing pretty good today, Benini. Hope you're doing well today. Um, and she, like, she starts walking away. She's like, I did the right thing by telling you, right? And I'm like, yeah, I guess. Like, what else are you gonna do? Uh, looking back, I think her dog might have attacked it. <laughs> um, so, oopsie. That's probably why she was more freaked out about it. Um, so I get my sister, like, we, we don't get too close to it because it's, like, a baby. And it's about, like, six inches big. And, um... So, like, I was looking up, like, what to do if you find, like, a baby possum, and it basically said, you know, leave them alone if they're big enough, but if they're, like, bitty baby and small, they, you should call, like, a welfare center. And I was like, okay. So, essentially, like, we would look at it, <laughs> playing unalive, like, over the edge, yep. <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, it was alive because I could see it twitching, but it was obviously paralyzed. And I looked it up, and essentially, like, the colloquial term of, like, possums playing dead is it's an involuntary response, meaning they're basically paralyzed and they can't move on their own until they get out of that paralysis because it's essentially, like, an instinct in which they will just do it involuntarily. And I was like, okay. And it said it could be like that for, like, up to five hours. And I was like, oh, okay. So, it was on the sidewalk. I didn't want to move it because I didn't want to, like, hurt it more. So we didn't know if it was hurt. Like, it, it looked fine. Like, it wasn't bleeding or anything. Like, none of the limbs looked out of place. So we left it. I put cones near it. Hoping that if anybody walked past it, um, they wouldn't, like, touch him or, like, run him over on the sidewalk. So, me and my sister, we kind of stand back a little bit. No, like, traffic cones, okay? <laughs> we have those in our driveway. <laughs> So, <laughs> we leave a bee, and we looked it up, and basically, if the baby, like, calls for the mother, it makes, like, a sneezing noise. And if the mom is calling for the baby, it makes, like, a clicking noise. Which we heard a clicking noise, so theoretically, we assumed the mother was nearby. So, we leave it alone. I check back on it later, it starts raining. And I see that it's moved a little bit, it's kind of, like, shuffled, like, an inch closer to the grass. So I'm like, okay, it's alive, it's alive. Um, it's probably just frozen, right? It's probably just par paralyzed still. So, it starts raining, so I put a box over it. Kind of like an open box. I can't stop laughing. Come on, dude, I'm telling my story, okay? <laughs> so I put, like, a, I put a cardboard box over it, and, like, I cut out one side of the box. That way, it's just covered. So it's basically covered like this over it, right? So then I leave it alone for, like, 30 minutes this time. And I check it again, and I can see it shuffled out from under the box. So it's still, like, trying to, like, get away. So I'm like, okay, he's still alive. Um, and then at that point, it's been, like, an hour. And usually, all the articles that I was reading, basically, if a baby is left alone for more than an hour, the mother's not coming back. 
And I was like, fuck, oh no, oh no. Um, and it was the- it was July 3rd. So, why is it so funny, guys? I was genuinely scared and concerned for this little baby possum, okay? Um, so anyway, it was the day before 4th of July, and none of, like, the shelters or, like, welfare clinics were open, because it's holiday, right? So none of them would be literally open till Wednesday, so, like, yesterday. So I'm like, fuck, shit, and if you call animal control, they're gonna kill it because a possum is a pest. So double fuck, so double win. Um, and, like, I looked up, like, you can, like, keep it inside and put it in, like, a makeshift incubator, but I'm not doing that. We don't have the means to, like, make an incubator. Um, yeah, I agree. Like, that's what I read as well, Benini. Like, they don't have, for the, they probably won't have rabies, but they might have, like, surface bacteria, because, you know, they're rubbaging through, like, trash and, like, other stuff in the wild. So it could have, like, surface bacteria, but not necessarily, they're, they're, they are cleaner when compared to other, like, wild animals and pests. But still, I didn't want to touch it, right? Like, I do have gloves. Yes, I have gloves. I have gloves at home. So, like, I could have put gloves on. But also, I was like, I don't think we could take care of this baby possum for two days. Like, we don't have the means to incubate it, right? Um. So, I was conflicted because I was like, maybe I can try and, like, take it inside and take care of it. But also, like, it's not... If we do it, it's probably not going to survive anyway. So, at that point, like, my parents get home. My dad kind of, like, shuffles it. He, like, kind of pushes it to the grass. And then we, we were like, you know... And I, I explained to him my thought process. He's like, yeah, we wouldn't be able to, like, take care of it inside. I'm like, yeah, you're right, you're right. So, we kind of leave it in the grass overnight. And, like, we, my dad, he put, like some fruit and vegetables and a cup of water right next to it. Seeing if that'll help. And we checked the next morning and it's still there. It's D-E-D. -E so GG's no re. It, it didn't make it. Sag. But it like, I feel bad because I know I could have done more, but it's also like there's a limit to what I could do. I was still sad about it. I was like, damn. Like, it, it be out it on alive. I think. Because, like, what I was reading based of articles is, like, if the possum is, like, seven inches, so this big, or larger, that means it's fully matured. But the possum was, like, six inches big. So, because, like, it was fully, it, like, its fur was fully grown out. It looked fully developed. So. No, it did not have a heat source. Like, we were. We weren't sure if we had to or not, because, like, if we put a towel on, we didn't want it to, like, if it was weak, we didn't want to, like, put weight on it. I don't know. Like, like I said, we could have done more, but at that point, we're, we, everyone in the house is like, you know, if it lives, it lives. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's just, like, that's how nature is, right? And I, I was still, like, bummed out. Like, I could have done more, but so I was like, ugh. It was a bummer. Cause like we we genuinely knew that it probably wasn't gonna live. But mm. And like I know the mother was nearby because we have possums in our attic. I can hear them running around in the attic right now. Like literally right now. So it, yeah, it's just a bummer. Yeah, I agree, Benini. Like, you're, you're not supposed to, like, dispose of it. Like, you just have to let it be. So, it, like... The reason why I didn't tell the story sooner is because, like, I was... Like, I was bummed about it. And, like, I know some people will instantly be like, Well, we could have done more! You... And we left the body for now. Like, we put it in the backyard. That way, like... If another... Predator comes by, you can have it. I don't... I don't know. It's just like, uh... We didn't bury it. It's just in the backyard. Like, under some foliage. Uh, the reason why I didn't bring it up sooner is because, like, I know some people will, like, instantly combat me or be like, Well, you could have done more! Did I name it? No. Why would I name it? That'd be fucking stupid. You don't name something that you know is not gonna live. That'd be brain dead. You're just causing yourself more harm. <laughs> Oh, that's what's recommended? Okay. 
You're really in vet school? Dude, we should have Benini in the chat room. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just a bummer. Like, okay, chatters, I'm not gonna repost the story on TikTok. Because I know, I literally know if I reposted, people are gonna give me shit. They're gonna be like, this dumbass bitch didn't save that baby possum. Because, <laughs> like, I see videos all the time of people, like, saving baby kittens or, like, squirrels and shit. So, I don't ever want to post that story time. Like, people would throw me to the wolves, like, literally. Yeah, animal TikTok is scary. Like, people are so aggro. I feel like that's one of the more, like, aggro sides of TikTok. Talking about being aggro. It is time for me to be mean to Chatters and run a few minutes of ad. <laughs> but Chatters, we are another hour into stream, so it is time for me to run a few minutes of ad. It's part of my contractual obligation. So... You can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just $4.99, $5, skip your coffee today and get ad previewing all month long, or if you have an Amazon Prime, look at your do what you got and get a free Prime sub every month. Mine went to out to Connor Eats Pants. So chatters, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Get some water, get a snack if you need it, but stick around. We're going to finish off the rest of Animal Crossing and then do you laugh, you freaking lose. So chatters, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Oh, wait, you can see it right now. Look, you know what I was talking about earlier? The highlight on the glasses. You can kind of see it. Hi, Emmy. Welcome to stream. We're well today. You just missed the baby possum story time, Emmy. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll ever find a pair of glasses that'll top this bear. Like, honestly. Hell again, it's funny. No, I'm not. Why are you making fun of my trauma? Kind of cringe. That's bully behavior. That wound is still fresh. That's why I waited three days to tell you guys. <laughs> I was gonna post pictures of it because I took pictures of it like sitting on the sidewalk, but then I was like, if I post it and it dies, I'm gonna be sad. The possum tried his best. Yeah, it did. It tried. Sag. Oh my god! Thank you for the five month resub, Emmy. I appreciate that. It's crazy. That has been five months that I've known you for. That's crazy. But thank you. You're gonna get your name written at the end of stream in the sub only journal. But thank you for the resub. Okay, so. We can drop some stuff off at home, and then switch gears to you laugh, you freaking lose. Do you think the mom is sad? I thought about that, and. Because, like, from what I've read, like, possums will, like, if they lose a baby, then it's gone, right? They're not going to go back for it. Like, if it falls off the back when they're walking, it's like, fuck it. Oh, well. I thought you meant pics of it unalive. No. No, no I would I would never. We talked about this before, but it's psychopathic to take pictures of dead animals. We talked about this. No, that is literally self-reporting if I did that. So, no, I did not take pictures of it when it was dead. I, I, uh, oh, oh my god, I, uh, no, I didn't. I took pictures of it when it was alive, like, sitting on the sidewalk. But like I said, the reason why I didn't post them is because I feel like it wouldn't make it. Because j just imagine I post on Twitter, be like, I found this baby possum, and the next day, it died. I feel like people would get upset. Like, not mad, but like feel, I feel like people would get sad. Or, like, people would also be like, you're posting this for clout. And, like, attention. Like, there'd be two spectrums of negative feedback, I feel like. 
<clears throat> okay, so I think that all about does it for Animal Crossing today. Did I get any new flowers? <laughs> On a live animal cloud? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got another purple daisy. Let's go. No, no roses, Sag. No, no purple hyacinths. Damn. Okay, well, I got a purple pansy. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and save here and switch gears to... You laugh, you lose. Wait, chatters, I forgot. I need to check what audio level I need to use. I forgot to write it down. Dude, I'm literally stupid. I forgot to write it down. Fuck. Praying for the possum. Yeah, peace I too pray for the fallen possum. Okay. Give me one second, guys. I'm getting the video. I put my title, if I laughed, I end stream with an N, not an M. Oh! oh. Again, we're still here. Saved. Hey, welcome back, Lorenzo. You came just in time for you laugh, you lose. My cord is stuck. Okay, now we are ready to go. So, chatters, you know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Yeah, are you guys ready? Hey, me, but play in the store. <laughs> he done know he fucked up. Wait, decon yesterday. Oh my god, it's it's too girthy. Because they said they slipped on a diving board. Let's show everyone how you can. Oh. They looking for the shooter. That was contested. I got scared because the clip right before this was the little dog, right? I thought, homie, if I could kick the dog. Ah, fuck. Shit, he literally almost hit the door. <laughs> I know. Oh. Not funny. You guys like my coffee section over there? Yeah? Which mug is your favorite? <gasps> Demon. You're in the bike lane. Oh shit. <laughs> is that uh, an android? The color of piss. Is that an android? My son. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh. So 
so you got the eggs ready. Then you go like this. Oh! What do you think, Nori? Huh? What do you think? Do you think anything? Do you have thoughts? Do you think about stuff? Do you just smile? He said to smile? You smile and don't think. There's a perfectly good dryer. Why would they just waste that? My truck's not in park. You ever look at your person and think to yourself, wow. <laughs> Okay, literally the worst shit. Oh my god. Having them Lucy. sing happy birthday oh for you? God. Literally Pair so yourself. embarrassing. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh god, no. Lucy, save yourself. Don't don't no. let it happen. Lucy, move. <laughs> Lucy. Just not give a fuck. Yeah, the chair will help. Sorry, the way the camera was panning was good. I'm up past midnight again. Watch this. <laughs> Bad friend. Unfriend them right now. Unfriend that guy too. Bad friend. Line. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like 30 seconds now. Like won't stop. Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> Right, I'm proper mad I am because I made a fucking pizza for myself and then I left it in there for ages and now I fucking burnt the pizza. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, dude? Oh! Threw bologna up at the ceiling. And then it hit on the fan. And it there's does. absolutely no way we could get it down, so it's gonna smell like. Oh. That has to be fake. This wall is a normal wall, but it has a feature no other wall has. Let me grab my jacket. As you can see. Yeah, you want a sequel trick, bro? Yeah, yeah. All right, I want this. Oh wait, I I dead ass. Wait. Look at that shoe boy. Is that someone in like a dish pit sink? I dead ass saw that was like a cat under a towel, but that's fucking somebody, right? What the fuck? Yeah, that. What? The oh, I see their head now. What the fuck? New bath bomb. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh, it's a, it's a mouse. Okay, I thought it was a gecko. 
Because, like, when I went to school in Hawaii, they used to all the time. Oh, pause, hold. Hold. Camera mod check. Hold chatters. Pause chat. Ta da Wait, hold. I'm back! Yay! I'm back! Hello. Oh, it was right at the end, too! <laughs> okay. Well, that was good. I got pretty close a few times. I got really close. There was a lot of cars crashing in that one, surprisingly. Okay, anybody laugh? Anybody get, got? Anybody LMFAO? Okay, so that concludes the You Laugh, You Lose part of stream. So we did get a resub today, so that means, chatters, it is time for. Oh. Another video was playing. It is time for. The sub only journal. So, chatters for anybody who subscribes, cheers, gifts, or donates in the stream will get their name written in the sub only journal. Or you can get your name for free if you use your channel points, which is in the bottom corner of your chat box. Okay, let's get some music for you guys as I set up the camera. It. There we go. My god, it's Mario Kart! Oh, wait! Hold, look, look, look. Look at that. So fucking cool. What do I plan on doing with the books if I ever stop streaming? Well, plot twist, I'm not stopping streaming. Got him! Uh, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Because I'm the type of person to where I don't, like, hold on to my artwork. So, like, I still have a few of, like, my older art that I've made in the past. But once it hits, like, ten years old, I throw it away. Like, I still keep, like, digital scans and copies of it, but... I don't like to keep it. So, burn them? Oh, that'd be kinda scary. But I don't know. I mean, I'd probably, like, keep them. I think the better question would be, what would I do once the book is filled? Huh? Huh? <laughs> because... It, okay, honestly, it'll take a long-ass time before the sub-journal will get filled, because, you know, I'm not... A big streamer yet. But the follower journal is getting- it's got like 10 pages left, so the follower journal is basically full. Which is crazy. Yeah, get a new one, Avi. Yeah, I have like three extra journals, like blank ones. A chatter central matter, you can use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. But today, we had Emmy Beef. With a five month resub. Insane. Five months? That is crazy. Oh, also, chatters. For anybody who gifts a cumulative of five subs in the month of July, will get a port custom portrait sketch card made for them on stream. So if you want that chatter save up, because you got all month in order to redeem that.
So we got Emmy Beef with the five month resub. And that's all we got for today. Unless anybody else wants to cheer gift or use their channel points. Last call for today. Ten out of ten. Thank you, Mac. I appreciate that, hun. Okay, that is all. Last call is over. So no raid today, Sag. Nobody I know is live, so no raid today. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. You know, I love my streaming time, but also it sucks that nobody else streams during this time, so... Oh well. If I was broke, I'd actually gift. No, chatters, don't feel obligated to gift. It's totally fine if you can't, because you know, streaming is free content, so just being here is part of the fun. So don't ever feel obligated to gift or donate. It's always something extra. Cause we talked about this earlier, but I think it's important to do when I'm still small extra things for people who do or are able to donate to stream. So don't ever feel like you have to. Um, but yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today. Today was fun. We got, I think, two towers done in Bowser's Fury. Yeah, so we'll continue that next week. Um, I am doing an extra stream on Saturday. We are doing the Summer Fishing Tourney to Animal Crossing. So like I said, that it's going to be on Saturday. It's an unscheduled stream. So chatters, if you aren't already, make sure you are following and have go live notifications turned on. That way you get pinged whenever I go live next. Um, before I head out, make sure all of you little chatters and viewers are following my offline social media accounts. I have a Twitter. Um, I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. But if you aren't already, go follow my Twitter. You'll see stuff about stream and funny haha -ha tweets sometimes. So, as always, yeah, don't worry about it, Mac. If you can't make it, no problem. VOD will be up. Um, yeah, no problem. I, I stream to have fun, and you guys always make me feel better and have a good time. So, it'll be... It's always fun hanging out with y'all. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you to anybody who came to stream. Any chatters, lurkers, I appreciate everybody. Even if you come in and say hi, it's a pleasure just to see new people in chat. I think we had two new first-time chatters today, right? This is crazy. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys on Saturday. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their week. Keep working hard, guys. We're almost at the weekend. One more day, guys. One more day. Oh, yeah. It's a pleasure. I'll see you guys Saturday. I said almost like tomorrow, but Saturday. Okay. Bye.